All right, guys, welcome back again. We're doing it, winning with blends. Let's dive into compression, okay? We're gonna talk about the compressor. We'll dive into the other compress compressors in the future, but for now, we're going with the standard, basic, simple, original compressor. Okay, so let's start with this right now. Let's talk about it. What is compression, okay? So compression is the difference between the peaks and troughs of a waveform. So let's get this up right now so you can kind of take a look at this analyzer so we can look at some of these peaks and troughs, okay? Compression is a form of automated gain control or volume control that reduces the dynamic range of sounds. So it inputs the input signal's rate of increase or volume increase is slowed and sometimes even stopped beyond the predetermined threshold level. And we'll dive into that as we get into these parameters in a moment, okay? So to avoid introducing artifacts into your sound, it's about fine tuning the magnitude, the speed and the timing of the compressor's automated gain changes, all right? Reducing the, automate, the amplitude of peaks can make the sound seem louder. All right, so all of these peaks that you see here, once we start to trim those down, we're gonna be able to boost up the body or the sustained quality of the sound. So this is based on the way our hearing interprets the start or the attack of a sound and the body or the sustained portion of a sound, okay? So let's look at these parameters here to better understand how we can use this tool, okay? So I've got my drums sent to um, an effect channel, essentially, an auxiliary send for processing, right? And we could do, of course, our, our parallel compression that way. So the attack of a sound is roughly the first 10 milliseconds or so. As you see, the release here is a, a minimum of 10 milliseconds and the maximum of 500 milliseconds, okay? The attack typically forms the impression or the timbre, the, the, the sound quality, clarity and the crispness as well as the punch of a sound whereas the sustain contributes most to the perception of loudness okay so that longer part of the sound the the uh, the hold let's say perhaps the hold or the body of the sound the sustain of the sound is going to give us the the impression of loudness the sustain level of a sound is most important because loudness perception comes from this averaging of sound or the integration of the previous roughly 600 to 1000 milliseconds, okay? So let's look into dynamics versus loudness, okay? Compression represents a trade-off between dynamics and loudness. So consider dynamics as being the potential range of the quietest and the loudest parts of a sound. So attack transients are too short to really give us any real impression of loudness. So we often have to rely on the sustain of a sound to consider more of the body and to determine what the true loudness is of this sound, all right? By lowering the magnitude of these peaks, as you see here, uh, we effectively bring up the sustained part of the sound. So we're really bringing down the peaks, which in some way is actually making the sustained parts louder, all right? This lowering of attack transits frees up headroom, okay? So by bringing down these attack, this attack uh, peaks, we are actually freeing up headroom, which allows us to raise the gain of the sustained portion of the sound, okay? The body of the sound. Let's look at each of these parameters now. So threshold sets the decibel level at which the compressor will kick in. So as you see right now, it's set to minus 40 decibels. That is, if you look at right here, that's really, really way down here. But we don't actually have the compressor engaged yet because we don't actually have the ratio set, okay? Once the threshold level is reached, compression will start, okay? Reducing the gain of the input signal according to the ratio attack hold and release setting. So let's actually raise this ratio up to the lowest, okay? And there you go. Instantly, we've got some compression activated. But if we increase the ratio or the threshold, which is essentially allowing the, the uh, compressor to kick in later. If we go deeper, we're telling the compressor, hey, start to compress w earlier in the sound at a quieter level of the sound, okay? And we have to make those adjustments according to whatever sound or input 
we're using, okay? We can choose to apply auto gain compensation right here, right? Which will essentially help with makeup gain. So let's look at like, um, if, so the threshold is, uh, it decreases the volume level, but it will, inc the auto gain will increase the amount of makeup gain for any gain that is lost with compression. We can also adjust that by adding level manually right here. Okay, so that's one thing we can do. We can also adjust auto gain and still go between minus 20 dB and plus 20 dB, as you see here, to increase the auto, to increase the gain. But for now, let's turn off auto gain just to keep things simple for now. Okay. Ratio controls the amount of compression or gain reduction that will be applied to your signal once the threshold is reached. Okay. So how much the signal... Now, the ratio denotes the difference in decibels between the input level and the output level. So how much the signal, how much the signal above your threshold level will be compressed. For example, if we put the ratio to four to one, it's pretty heavy compression, right? That means that, well, let's put it there, four to one right there, right? This means that when the input level is increased by four decibels, the output level of the signal above the threshold will only increase by one decibel all right so subtler let's say uh ratios and, and compression would be if you're looking at more of a three to one or below three to one uh ratio that is more ideal if you're looking for more subtle compression but it really depends on the threshold you set because i can have my threshold set way up here so it's only going to jump in. The compression is only going to kick in if the sound uh, uh, for sounds that are in the uh, uh, roughly, let's say, let's say minus nine decibels. So you have to work with the threshold and the ratio together to find the right level. As you can see right here in my gain reduction metering, you can see that right now zero means there's no compression at, at all being applied. There's only a tiny bit of compression being applied because if you look at these levels. If you look here, most of the sounds, the transient peaks are around minus 12 decibels to about minus three or four decibels. So this ratio is going to have to come down a bit more if we want to actually, sorry, pardon me, this threshold is going to have to come down a bit more if we're going to actually start to affect the input signal, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's look at the attack. So the attack controls the time it takes to reach the full compression once the threshold level has been exceeded, okay? So a slower attack might result in uh, maybe perhaps a smoother compression, whereas fast attack may, be, may introduce, perhaps sometimes could introduce um, artifacts into your mix. So fast attacks means that compression will be pretty much instant okay slow attack results in compression being more gradually increased allowing for more variations in signal okay so now the hold let's look at hold okay hold is the delay before the compressor will become inactive or essentially before the compressor actually stops quick on and off changes in compression can introduce artifacts as i was mentioning and could help could cause your sound to be distorted perhaps rough or even choppy so we can use hold to smooth out the sound particularly when high frequency noises are triggering the compressor too early or sometimes even too often okay let's look at the release okay release sets the time the compressor takes to stop acting after the level has fallen below the threshold short releases or short release times let's say will make the compression more flexible and able to adapt to input signals uh, dynamics but these fast changes in gain may sound unpleasant it really really depends okay so quick uh, fast or shorter sorry longer releases would cause i suppose more of a smooth sound but it really depends on what you're doing that's really really up to you okay um smaller variations in signal level may be ignored with longer release times okay so long releases may also make your compression more even and like i said less distorted so 
let's look at the level okay we can adjust the level uh based on the it's the post compressor level okay so we're not boosting the input that would be right here if we want to boost the input gain right of the sound source we input we, we boost it right there but once the levels are compressed with the threshold ratio attack hold and release we can then increase the level to do some type of let's say makeup gain or gain staging as we always say so adding gain adding levels back to what you reduced through compression all right so again let's go over here to the metering we talked about the gain reduction that's gr the input of course is the input signal level and the o out sorry is the output signal level now let's keep this thing moving so that we can kind of get a better idea of what we're doing here so for this particular one i do want this to to jump in a bit i may increase that i may drop this down and let's uh lower the release and increase the attack so that we're not cutting too 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 quickly in and maybe drop this release down or this uh, ratio down and and maybe lower the threshold a bit more okay and increase that gain to compensate for what we've lost all right guys i hope this one was useful to you winning with blends of course again justin blends back with another one guys drop some comments i want to hear some feedback i really do absolutely appreciate that and what i want you to do guys is watch this video on side chain compression and it's not to be confused with my previous video on auto duck all right guys all the best to you until next time Take it easy.